Hey guys, Vince here. I just wanted to start this video off with a bit of a disclaimer. Uh, when I began trying to fix this PS1, I was under the assumption that the SPU or sound processing unit was bad. Um, later on, doing some research, I found out that it wasn't really a possibility for that to be bad given the symptoms of the issue. So I did cut that footage out of me replacing the SPU just because if other people are following along with this, trying to diagnose their system, I don't want them to think that's a legitimate step for them to take. In this particular case, replacing the SPU was not legitimate. So I just wanted to have that disclaimer and you will hear me reference um, switching SPUs a few times. So just keep that in mind. Take care. Hi everyone, Vince with Boomer Electronics here. Hope you're all having a great day. So uh, today is actually a PlayStation I had already had on the channel. This is the uh, 1001 PlayStation, aka the audiophile version, that was freezing on the white Sony boot screen. That issue was resolved by replacing a few bad capacitors on the motherboard. Um, so anyhow, fast forward, I was getting this thing ready to list for sale. In the same video, I also installed the next station in it. And while I was testing things out, I noticed an issue that I didn't realize before. Of course, my cat just had to show up for the recording, but we'll proceed. Anyhow, let me uh, let me show you the problem I found. I'll just uh, go ahead and get up here. So as you can hear, you can hear that there is sound playing out of it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up a game where I noticed the issue. Keep in mind I've tested a few different games. This has been an issue on every game that I've tested. So I'll go ahead and load this up and fast forward it a bit. Okay, so we're back. Um, as you may be able to hear or not hear, there is uh, no music playing. There should be music playing during this video scene here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip the rest of this. Okay, so you should be able to hear their sound effects. I'll just load up a race here. So we do have some kind of loop playing here in the background. Okay, and there is no audio track playing right now. There should 100% be an audio track playing during the races. So yeah, we're not getting uh, music on this PlayStation, at least for the videos and for like some of the in-game audio tracks. So I'm actually going to uh, load this back up. So um, if you're having a similar issue with the PS1 that just has a disk drive, you could just put in an audio CD here. For an X station, I actually ripped an old audio CD I had and uh, put it onto the SD card. X stations can boot up audio CDs if you uh, rip them in that way. So yeah, just to kind of just to kind of demonstrate what happens if you put in an audio CD and maybe help diagnose the issue further. I'm going to load up this old audio CD I have on here. Okay. So as you can see, it's playing. I'm not going to play it for very long because I don't want to get a copyright strike or something silly. But so that that's the symptoms we're having. It will play audio CDs. It doesn't play um, music in in games during videos and 
specific types of music tracks it won't play. But it will play audio CDs. That's kind of the symptoms we're dealing with. And just to just to point out, uh, I have another uh, PS1 right here that's X Station modded. That's my personal one. I've put this SD card into it, and I've used these uh, same audio cables because it's a 1001 as well. And was not having those issues with Gran Turismo that this one is having. So just to kind of isolate the issue, it is definitely 100% something wrong with this one. So I'm going to open it up now and show you what I find. So last night I decided to take a step back and research the different types of PlayStation audio and how the motherboard will process those. So it turns out that the type of audio that this motherboard isn't playing is XA-80 PCM audio. It's a type of compressed format that uh, for PS1 games you'll usually see it in the videos that play and in some of in most of the games audio tracks I believe. Some of the, some of the earlier PS1 games would use a just normal CD DA type audio, the same audio tracks you'd see it on like a normal music CD, but I don't believe that was very common later on. Uh, so anyhow, that kind of, it kind of explains a bit why why a CD audio will play on this PS1, but uh, this XA-80 PCM compressed format won't. And with that in mind, I started, uh, started doing a little more research looking into this problem and I found someone with a post fairly recently posted this year who describes the exact same problem that I'm having with this PS1 and then one of the uh, users here at no cash is obviously very knowledgeable about um, PlayStation hardware kind of gave a uh, gave his input and some suggestions um, notably it doesn't look like the SPU really handles this type of audio format, so that was very unlikely to be the problem. It was pretty much a waste of time changing that. I know that now, but it didn't at the time. Um, so what he basically is suggesting is it could possibly be this chip. Um, maybe this chip. I don't like. For some reasons I'm not going to get into. I don't think it's this chip, but. So this chip is a, uh, it's uh, responsible for decompressing that 80 PCM type of audio. So this definitely could be an issue. Um, and then there's also, it's also tied to this RAM directly on the other side of the board. So these seem like the two most likely suspects at this point. Uh, yeah, this is the board I'm trying to fix. So I believe I'm going to start by reflowing this chip and reflowing the RAM for it, seeing if we still have an issue. And if we do, I'm probably going to swap this chip and the RAM, probably in the other order. I'll swap the RAM first just because it's going to be easier. Then I'll swap the, uh, the chip and see if I can get it working. So yeah, that's, that's where I'm at.
refloated those two chips. And now we're partially reassembled for testing. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Well, as expected, still no music playing right now. As you can hear, we're not here. So, originally I was gonna replace that ramp chip first, but I'm very doubtful that ramp chip's the problem. So I'm actually gonna replace that CD-ROM controller chip. So, yep, gonna get to that. Okay, chip responsible for decoding the XA audio stream has been swapped, so let's see what we're dealing with now. Oh, seems like haven't made the problem any worse at least, so let's uh Let's see what happens now in Gran Turismo. Okay, we're back and I hear music playing. So my hunch was right, it was that chip. The chip responsible for decoding the XA audio appears to be bad. 
So that's good to know. Good to know. Um, yeah, hopefully this information is useful to someone. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, get this P PS1 all back together and uh, test it some more and get it up for sale. So yeah, I hope, uh, hope this is helpful for you if you're having a similar issue. And take care. Uh, just to prove 100% uh, that the chip was faulty, I did put the chip into my personal PS1. And as you can hear, there is no sound. So 100% confirmed that that chip was faulty.